morning everyone what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is abby aslan and i'm going to be taking you guys along sort of just like a week in my life here at home in panama city beach florida and i've been here for about a week and we're leaving like the end of this week um my boyfriend and i is we <laughs> we came here um as soon as my parents got to their new house and were able to move in here in panama city beach and we have been helping them move in so i haven't really been vlogging at all and also my brother and sister-in-law um, drove over from houston as well and they spent memorial day weekend here and today's memorial day so thank you to all of you if you're watching this or if you have family members in your family or friends i am so grateful for the people who put themselves um okay my camera died so we're on my phone right now and i forgot my extra camera battery and my camera battery charger in texas so we're probably gonna be on my phone. But yeah, thank you to all of you. If it's you or anyone in your family or any of your friends who, you know, sacrifice your lives to serve this country, I'm literally so grateful. I'm really thankful that my brother and sister-in-law were able to come and we were all able to be together, which like doesn't happen that often. So it was incredible just being able to go to beach with go to the beach with everyone. And it's like the busiest I've seen the beach in a very, very, very long time. Um, it's kind of insane. It should be an interesting week. Like I said, we are leaving later this week to go back to Texas because Griffin's internship starts on June 1st and we were gonna stay here longer, um, but his work computer did not get to Texas by the time we were leaving to go to Florida. So we have to go back because his computer's there. And then I know my work computer's getting shipped there too. My internship doesn't start until July 6th. So we will be coming back here for the whole month of July pretty much. So we're going to be like in Houston for about a month and then come back to um, Panama City Beach for all of July. It'll give my parents time to get settled and get everything set up and moved in. Um, so I'm not like kind of taking over all their space with all my crap. But yeah, this is my room at my parents' house. Um, obviously, it's not like my room, but you know what I mean. This is where I stay when I come here and Griff and I have all our stuff in here. Um, we did have an air mattress in here, but bet I think the actual mattress is coming in the mail on Wednesday. So there's, um, we just went ahead and like set up the, uh, bed frame or whatever. So we have Griff and I stuff like all over the place in here and it's, um, just got some very basic furniture in here so far. I got some things that hang up on the walls. My stuff is all over the place. This is a closet. I just have all my clothes in here. I'm gonna leave a lot here when we go back to Texas though. I guess I can give you guys a little house tour. I've got the bathroom right here. It's a mess right now because my stuff is everywhere per usual. Shower. Little hallway. We have a griffin. And then this other room. So we are getting ready to go to the beach right now, but um, I need to find my beach bag because it has like my eye books in it and stuff. I think it actually might be in the car, but I'm not sure. But I might throw on a hat because my hair is a little crazy right now. This sunscreen, by the way, is what I've been wearing a ton. Um, I wear it every day whether or not I go to the beach and it works so well. We went to Shell Island the other day and I was the only person that had this on their face and I was the only person that didn't get fried on their face. So it works really well for sun protection and it feels really good on the skin. And I've got on my rainbow flip-flops. I wore these all the time in high school. They're like the most comfortable flip-flops ever and definitely a very Floridian um, item of clothing, I guess you would say to have. But ignore my unpainted toenails, they look so bad. But I haven't got my nails done or anything yet. So I went and bought these from the surf shop I worked at all of high school the other day because they sell them and they're so comfy and I got Griffin to get a pair back in October and I have no idea what happened to my pair from high school so I figured it was time to get a new pair especially for when I come home. But I changed it to like this white tank top instead of the red one because I feel like it looks a lot better with the linen shorts so I think this is from Forever 21. I'm not positive. I'm gonna throw my key sunglasses on and then we're gonna go 
pick up some lunch from friends and then come back here and then go to the beach with my parents. And I had a podcast episode go live this morning, so I like posted the graphic earlier for that. And um, it was all about like changing your mindset from being like a natural pessimist to being an optimist. I'm gonna show you guys some things that I've gotten recently, um, like a little haul, I guess you could say. And some of it's in my car, but I'm returning it, so I'm not gonna show you guys that stuff, I guess, but maybe I will get out of my car and show you. So if you guys remember, I talked about wanting to get a paper planner really badly um, in one of my last vlogs, like one of my more recent ones, and I did end up caving and getting a full-size day designer. I've always used day designers, whether they were from the website or from Target's like day designer line, but I just loved this print on their website. And I really like the size of this one. So it doesn't start until July, so I can't really use it just yet. But I really just wanted to get one because it was kind of overwhelming thinking that, you know, all my YouTube stuff, all my podcast stuff, all my, um, well, not really school stuff, I guess, this summer, but studying for the CPA and my internship is all online. So I like didn't want to do all my planning online too. Like I'm of course going to still have like um appointments and everything and certain phone calls that are scheduled in my google calendar but as far as like making to-do list goes and like blocking out the time of my day i'm gonna be using this and i'm really excited for july to be here so i can actually start using it so there's that this super cute little beaded purse from revolve it was definitely pricey but it's really good quality and i've always wanted one of these and it's just so so cute and it'll like match anything but it's just a cute little summer bag and i'm like trying to be more bold with like my um fashion choices and everything and like actually like sort of expand into finding my own style and everything so i've really been enjoying doing that and another thing that i was going to tell you guys you need to download honey um as a browser extension on google and it just automatically applies coupons to your cart and i swear every time i order from revolve i save like 20 percent because of honey i got this really cute swimsuit from the pq swim brand on revolve and it was on sale and then i got um obviously the extra sale and it's just like a really cute kind of sports style top but then the sides have these cute little rings and then the bottoms are really cute as well i like love just the tan and white i just really really like that it's really really thick and good quality while being stretchy um i definitely think you get what you pay for when it comes to swimsuits and i really only had like two that really really fit me well that i loved so i just really wanted to get some more good ones that actually were functional and not just cute so this is the other bikini i got from revolve and it's from l space and i also got this one on sale um i only kept two out of the three i ordered but i figured that one of them wouldn't work out at least um but this one's a really cute just like hot pink and lime green and the new to striped set, there's not padding in this top, but the pattern kind of makes it okay, and I don't really need it. Um, and then the, I really like how the sides come in like this, and the straps, like I just love the little details on it. These bottoms are super high-waisted, and I feel like the cut of them is very, very flattering, um, just because they go so high up. They are a little bit more cheeky, but I really, really love the fit of them, and I got a medium in the bottom and a small in the top, and it fits the best so um as you can tell they're definitely more on the cheeky side but i do really like them still last but not least are these jeans this is out of the stuff i'm keeping i can show you guys the two things in the car that i'm returning i had ordered a pair of free people jeans and they had really good reviews and they were like distressed and everything i wanted a good quality pair of distressed denim so i got these goldie ones which are definitely really expensive but i know that you have to pay like a good price for like actual quality denim that feels and looks like denim and fits well um these do have like a waist gap a little bit but it's not terrible i will insert a picture of like whenever um i went to food trucks with my family and i was wearing them and we just got kind of dressed up for it and i don't know i like how they button and i really like how they fit in the back i think it's super flattering i just really love the raw hem on the bottom but these are just like a straight leg denim and a lot of um straight leg jeans i try to get are either too close to being skinny jeans or they're too baggy and i don't like it when they're too baggy because i don't have long legs so it doesn't look very flattering on me but like i said um you guys can always pretty much get 20 percent off if you use honey for the stuff i'm returning from revolve these are the free people jeans i got a size 28 which is the same size i got in the goldie and these were huge in the waist and they like flattened out my butt like a diaper and it looks so bad but the distressing is so cute and my mom said she definitely likes the way the goldie ones look as far as like the uh cut of the leg goes because these are very like a lot more wider at the bottom but i liked the 
more how much more distressed they were but they just absolutely weren't even close to fitting and i knew that sizing up and sizing down would not help and then i got this swimsuit from tula rosa but it just i had a feeling that this like this is just a really thin material and i feel like it would just not really do anything for my chest and honestly it wasn't really my style but it was on sale and i really liked the purple and since they were high-waisted bottoms um i thought i would like them a lot but I ended up not really loving them that much. Like, I'm sure you guys can look at these and just be like, yeah, Abby, that's not really your style. Like I love the purple and the polka dots, but the little ruffle wasn't, I mean, like it's really cute in my opinion, but it's not really me. And then the way this was so thick and came down lower on my hip, it made my like button legs look kind of funny. So um, I think it would look good on the right people, um, like with the right build, but not for me. Same thing with the free people jeans. I feel like they would fit like someone that's really like tall and like, not tall, but like long lean legs, like, just smaller legs. If you have like an athletic belt, these just are not it. So we just pulled up to Fens and uh, they're closed today. I don't know if they're, I think they're closed on all Mondays actually. Like it's I, not just because it's Memorial Day. Surf shops closed. Too. But the barista bar is closed, which is like where the coffee and Aussie bowls and everything are. And then this is like all the um, island style food or whatever. And then I think surf shops closed too. But yeah, this is where I worked all of high school. So I still come here like literally all the time to get the barista bar and friends. And it's like hey, we a huge go, part of my childhood or not childhood, late high school We could go years, to um, Gulf Coast Jam. Hmm? Gulf Coast Jam. I always ask you to go to that and you never want to go. Well, it's so much fun. We can go. Honestly, it's not the best year, but we can go. What I've already mean? seen like Brian in concert, so I don't really have a desire to see him again, even though, because like his old music's way better than his new music, in my But opinion. Billy Ray Cyrus is going to be there. So is Leonard Skinner. And John Langston. Oh, yeah, John Langston. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Full circle, saw him at a frat I house. I just at love Alabama, how the camera's just see. on me. Hey. Yeah, there's like a Gulf Coast Jam like uh, ad up there or whatever. I went like twice in high school, I think, and it was fun. But the, I feel like the people they got in high school was like a lot better than, because that's how I saw Blake Shelton, which was iconic. They ran out of focaccia bread, so I just got spinach, or the big apple turkey, which is spinach and turkey and honey mustard. Um, there's cheese on it. But um yeah, it's for without cheese, but I just peeled it off and there's also apples on it, so good. But it normally is served on like homemade focaccia and they sold out of it this morning, so it's on just like a dinky little bag of it, but it's okay. really late breakfast it's almost noon but my mom and I like painted my nails this morning and um, black bears kind of far from my house yeah. out here in Brighton Beach and I got a mocha ice latte with almond milk and then this bacon and egg biscuit with no cheese and then he got like a granola bar or something not granola, granola bar bowl. granola he got a granola bowl and then yeah they're just doing like the online order pickup so it's really nice but it's deep. Okay, good morning everyone. Um, this vlog has been such a flop. I just didn't vlog for so long and I've just really been trying to like enjoy my time here without like being so focused on recording things and being on my phone and stuff. So yeah, I just don't have much content so far. But um, yesterday I like literally didn't even vlog at all. I started off in the morning and then we went to Black Bear, got some coffee, breakfast, and then we went to the beach all day pretty much. And I my phone was in my bag the entire time. And I just like didn't even record a video of the beach, I don't think. And then went to bed early last night, woke up around 8.15 and it's like 9.30 right now got my coffee 
and I have a phone call at 10, so in like 30 minutes, with Brooke Michio and Danielle Carolyn here on YouTube from Gals on the Go, also from their YouTube channels. Anyways, um, I'm gonna finish drinking this coffee and I have some like little finishing touches I need to do on a video. I did edit yesterday and finished getting the video like uploaded and everything, but I just need to link some stuff just some minor little work things like that so it can go up hopefully today. I do have some Instagram content I need to do for a brand and I would like to do it here because the lighting is just a lot better here in Florida than it is in whatever I'm in Texas. So it'll be a lot better for the specific um, product that I'm going to be promoting. We also just found out that Griffin like just found out about a meeting that he has on Friday at 10 15 in the morning. So um, we're gonna have to go back there's someone right outside the window, this is so awkward. So we were planning on going back Friday or Saturday, but now we have to go back tomorrow. And that really stinks. I'm kind of upset about it, but um, he didn't know, so it's like not his fault or anything. And like I said earlier, he didn't have his work computer before we left and he has to do it through his work computer because of some like picture and like form thing he has to do. So I totally get it. There's a lot of like little requirements you have to do for internships. We'll be back in literally a month, so. I am just remembering that. It doesn't look that bad in here, but I'm just gonna have to like repack everything. But I truly am leaving a lot here. Um, but I just don't wanna leave this room like a straight up mess for my parents. so good when you put it on and it like literally makes you look so freaking awake it's insane but i've had it for a while and i forgot it at school so when i went back to school i was able to repack it i've been putting it on every day and it just makes me look like i kind of dab it in a little bit so it's not so harsh it's like really really cooling but not like in a annoying tingly way and it just gives your whole under eye like a lift kind of you guys can see how bright it is but i love anything that makes me feel more awake because my eyes always feel swollen and my hair looks tragic today i'm gonna put on my everyday jewelry real quick i'm just wearing this blue ramajamas t-shirt from the support local like drops that j and j marketplace did in tuscaloosa and in the back it's just got big l on it and it says ramajamas cost 2020 and i don't have any comfort colors t-shirts this color so it's Nice and fun for summer. And then I've got on my Lululemon Jesus side shorts. And we'll probably go pick up lunch from somewhere. And I need to go by the UPS store and drop off a return box for stuff that I'm returning from Revolve. <laughs> got my video uploaded earlier and my thumbnail done. I have some stuff like just in my to-do list. That I need to do but I'm saving a lot of it um for when I get back to Houston like I have a ton of onboarding stuff to do for my internship and I'm just gonna save that for Houston and instead of like cramming my time here and doing it here it's just better if I wait when I don't have anything to do in Houston and just do it there so gonna do that um but I'm crossing things off right now because we got some things done and I had to send over some insights earlier for a sponsorship that I posted yesterday, which sending insights is just basically sending how the post performed to the brand. So that's what I did earlier. But um, yeah, I just have gotten all this done. Okay guys, it is much later. 
my mom, Griff, and I all went to the beach together and I read some of my book and it felt really, really great out because it was super windy. Even though the beach, like, it was, like, pretty overcast and all that, it was probably better because I am a little bit burnt. But we picked up bricks and barley pizza on the way home. If you ever go to Panama City Beach, you have to try it. It's so good. I don't even like pizza generally, and I feel like you guys probably know that. Like, I genuinely hate, oops, I genuinely hate, like, Pizza Hut, Domino's, all those places and things like that. But... If you're ever in the area, definitely try bricks and barleys. But I just showered and I'm about to get some content done for the Tangle Teaser thing, which I won't be recording just because I have to use my phone to get it. So I think Griff's gonna help me get the video I need for that for an end feed video. And then I have to get some stories done. So I'm about to do that. That's why I put my jewelry back on and I'm in like a tank top, but mom just walked. Hi. Oh wait, I was like, oh, where's Ella? Here she comes. Yay. So she just walked her for a little bit outside and then I have to get all my stuff together. So I've been doing laundry all day and um, I've just really got to like pack everything up and figure out what I'm going to leave here for when we come back in July and all that kind of stuff. Also got some more Road and Fields Lash Boost in the mail. I know it's like MLM and everything and everyone has their opinions about that. This is like the only MLM product I've ever tried and probably ever will try, but it does work really well. You guys know I use it. I started using it, I think in either October or November. I think I want to say I want to say I got it around Thanksgiving and I'm just now running out of my tube so it's lasted me for six months and it is very pricey but the fact that it lasts for six months makes it worth it because you only have to buy it twice a year if you want to use it but I personally feel like it makes me so much more comfortable not wearing makeup on a day-to-day -day basis because I look so much more awake with my eyelashes really long right now they're definitely not near as long as they normally are because I haven't been using it my tube I have I've only been using it like once a week just because I didn't have a lot left um, and I still have like probably like a few more uses out of it, but I wanted to go ahead and order one um, While I was like with my mom or whatever it works so well once you start using like if you use it every day Or even every other day for like a month That's when you like see your peak results and then if you maintain it like every other day From then on it'll last forever. You don't have to use it every day It does burn your eyes a little bit when you first use it just because Obviously your eyes are never used to putting like foreign products on like this. It will burn a little bit. It'll make your eyes a little bit red at first, but mine like it only lasted like the first two times I did it and it works really well. So I also got a hoodie that or sweatshirt I wanted to show you guys that a subscriber made for me that I just got in the middle of the day, but I'm trying to find it. I don't know where I put it. The cutest pink and orange tie-dye sweatshirt crew neck thing. I will leave her uh, link down below. I got an XL in it just because I really like my sweatshirts and stuff oversized as you guys know. And I just love how bright and fun this is. I don't have any tie dye like this. Okay, you guys, I got all my Instagram content done. I have to add like the captions and everything to the stories and then get a draft caption for the MV video. Um, but I finished all that a little bit ago. I don't even know what time it is right now. It's nine and I'm catching up on YouTube stuff because I have not watched YouTube in like a week. So I'm very behind on vlogs and everything for people I watch. But right now I'm going through my clothes and like just, you know, splitting up when i'm taking to texas when i'm leaving here and i am definitely leaving more than i'm taking but i just have a lot of clothes that i'm gonna leave here and right now i have pretty much everything packed this is workout clothes and then my denim shorts and i forgot to put this pair in there so that's why it's right there and then this is all pajamas this little packing cube is just gonna be my swimsuits once i get them all in here <laughs> On our way out, I stopped by um, and picked this up. I got it for like my brother and sister-in-law's one year anniversary that's coming up soon. And obviously like they love the beach and everything. A girl I know from middle school and high school painted this and she <laughs> paints like really incredible stuff, you guys. This is like a serving tray. I will leave her website down below, but she does hair and she just started doing this stuff. And her things like are incredible. She has like coasters, this type of stuff. She has paintings. Um, all kinds of things and I'm literally gonna be ordering like more from her but this is so 
like beautiful and hand done and like it's insane like how much it like actually resembles a beach but i really love this so i'm gonna drop this off by my brothers as well when we drop off the power board.